everyone. It's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm just going to talk about my day, how my day was. And the sun was shining. It was a good day and I, I went out. And when I went out, I went to the bank because I had to get, I had um, a few checks that needed to be cashed that were Emily's. And I had a statement that I got in the mail and I'm thinking, whose account is this? because um, it didn't match any of my accounts. And so I called the number for the bank and found out that it was my granddaughter's CD that was supposed to have her social security number on it, and not mine. I shouldn't be paying the taxes on this. It's supposed to be for her, not me. So I went to the bank to um, tell them about it, and then I forgot to bring her social security number with me. So I had to call them back and while I was calling them back, I got a company. And it was um, one of my classmates from school when I was in school almost 50 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that long ago? That long you ago. You couldn't have found. Yeah. And um, she told me about the Crafty Diem being changed to mornings, which will be a lot better for me because I don't like to go out at night. So I'll be going to that in the morning on next week, Thursday. I'll go to that. And then I decided it was about 4, I don't know, maybe 4.15. And I thought, I better eat something. I haven't eaten anything today. And I went in the basement and I was looking for tuna fish. And I thought, gosh, I know I have tuna fish down here. We had bought it, but I haven't used it. You're wiggling an awful lot again. You're going to make a lot of noise with this camera. I could hear it yesterday. I'm going to make a noise today. <laughs> I hope not. Anyways, I went to the basement and um, got some tuna out. Tuna, I found tuna in the basement. I was finding the chicken in the can and stuff like that, and then finally I found tuna. So I made a couple of egg waffles where you mix up the egg and you put it in a waffle iron, and it makes like, supposed to be like a, a, a sandwich for a bread, but it's not really bread, it's just egg. And then I made egg sal or I mean tuna salad out of that tuna and put it in that and ate it. And um, I already told you the sunshine. I, I made a list today because I wanted to just tell you what's been going on. Jim put air in my tires because when I came back from the bank, it I thought it was the doors were opened because it, it, it shows a little car and it shows something bumped out. So I thought, hmm, why is that door opened ajar? It wasn't the door, it was air for the tires. So I, I opened the door and slammed it, and then I went back in and started the car up again, and it showed me a different one, and I thought, oh. So I went outside, opened the door, and slammed that door, and then I come back in, and it's the same one as the first one. I thought, oh, the heck with this. And then I realized it's air tire that was low, not tire air. Tire air was low. <laughs> so, Not air tires, but tire air. Tire air, okay, was low, and it needed some air put in my tire, so he did that. Um, I also if it wasn't so cold, it would not have shown it either. Oh well, it's cold. And I think I have a broody hen. I'm not sure. She's not mean. She didn't puff up when I went to pet her, but she's been on these three eggs for. This is her third day, so I have a feeling she's broody. So does that mean spring is close by? Will the warm weather be coming? Because if she hatches them out now, it's pretty cold. Those baby chicks, she'll have to, they'll be sitting under her a lot. She will she take will, care of them. I know she'll take care of them, but it's pretty darn cold. Usually I like yeah. them to hatch them out when it's a lot warmer weather out than now. Because even to keep their water from freezing because I give them the little water thing because she keeps them up into the up into the um, little house for a while till they get at least a week old and then they bring them down and this way they have food and water up there for, for her and the babies and if it's too cold the water will freeze and that will make a problem but that's I guess all that went on today so that's it for today so I'm gonna have to say goodbye <laughs> so Goodbye. I'm back. I forgot to tell you something, so I came back. I don't know if you're still there or not. You may have disappeared long ago. But I had a comment in my comments 
that wanted to know why I had a gun in the corner of the room. I will have to show you. It's not a gun. It's a mic stand. <laughs> corner or some other kind of popper thing I don't know what they called it but it's a it's a mic stand we thought this was going to be big enough the little top here to hold the lighting but it's not it's not the pipe is fatter than that and I don't want this broken but this is what it is it's a microphone stand that's it I still might utilize it I don't know, I don't know. 